Beep, what's up everybody? Louis Marco here. I salute you wherever you are. Branch Warren. Branch Warren is a veteran in the game of bodybuilding. I've been following this guy since ever. Has been here since the late uh, 90s, bro. I mean, he was rolling with the likes of, of Badel back in the day. He was competing in the days of Ronnie Coleman and then switched to uh, Jay Cutler. Talking about Jay Cutler, he was competing against him when they were both juniors, right? And then he moved to uh, the Phil Heath era, and he's still doing battle until uh, today. Uh, he will be competing in a few days, actually, in the Arnold Classic, and he just uh, placed third in the Lavroni Classic a few days ago in Poland, right? I personally voiced uh, my opinion that I said countless times that personally, I absolutely prefer, this is my personal opinion, since it is a subjective a bodybuilding pageant my opinion is that i prefer the older version of him now some of you told me bro but he is granity this and that listen up he was always granity look at him back in the day i mean he was uh, ecstatic for that matter with crazy legs as a matter of fact the legs in this picture are bigger and have more sway into them the very development is definitely greater than the legs he has right now. Now, of course, he un he injured his right uh, quad, but not only that, even the left one does not have the very sweep of this one. Look at him, bubble gut, not even once. Muscle valleys uh, all day and every day. I mean, the midsection is absolutely to be saluted, and he is hard as the granite grainy. Look, it goes to show. Now, this will be a collection of old picture versus recent pictures that have been taken mostly a few days ago right i did not uh, cherry pick them those are the official picks of muscular development so this is the old uh branch warren right here and this was him actually mr olympia of uh, 2015 right that's what's up this is him, the old version, right? I mean, abs and thighs. Look at, he is aesthetic for real. I mean, the, the, the bubble gut does not exist. The midsection is absolutely a sight to be uh, saluted. Versus him yesterday, actually a few days ago. This was in Poland, right? That's it, official picture of muscle development, not cherry picked. This was an old picture again, doing, I mean, this uh, famous most muscular pose. I mean, it's hard to do. You need to do, you need to be very ecstatic to do it. Even Dorian Yates cannot do this. I mean, only few guys can afford to do this uh, most muscular pose with both hands on the waist. He is absolutely to be saluted. Quality is not that good, but he has feathers and striations for days versus him uh, yesterday. That's it. So it's not subjective. What is right is right. That's why, personally, I compare him with himself. I don't even compare him with the likes of, you know, Cedric McMillan and, and the rest of the field. I compare him with the old version. I do reminisce of him. Now, if you guys stumbled on bodybuilding two years ago, probably you don't remember this. But, uh, I mean, the, the, the disparity, the very difference of his body parts is absolutely staggering to say the least. Look at the midsection back then. I look at it now. Come on. Come on, changes did happen, and the limbs, actually, the bellies he had back in the day. Look at the biceps, the roundness of that 3D delt, I mean, the trap, even the legs, as I mentioned, the, the, the bellies just melted away for several reasons that I might uh, talk about, in my opinion, in, in an upcoming video, but it has to do with, with the training, the range of motion, the injuries, maybe, please, the stretching, and so on and so forth. And the so-called, uh, some say, uh, uh, Palomboism, if you guys know what I mean. But proceed, uh, shall we, right? Older version, abs and thighs for days. This is him, for real, not Photoshop. He was aesthetic as crazy. Talking about granity, look at the feathers. But he was hard as a granite rock. That's what's up, right? Versus him uh, two days ago. That's what's up, right? Needless to say, the waist get absolutely huge. This is not Photoshop, official picture from muscular development. That's what's up. Proceed, uh, shall we? Right? <laughs> I mean, is this for real? This is an actual picture. Google it. I did not Photoshop it. You can Google young Branch Warren. He was like this. Bellies for days. These, uh, these legs have a sweep that took its independence. I mean, the waist, it was like a freaking model, bro. Look at that. Right? I mean, compared to 
um, oh, this is the back. Again, the back, uh, by by far, his weakness, I think he injured himself, if I'm not mistaken, because it looks so imbalanced. I mean, the right side definitely does not spouse uh, the left side uh, whatsoever. Uh, details are not there. It, I mean, if you're not a thing or two of bodybuilding, you will not salute this back. That's obvious, right? Proceed, shall we? Again, back team today. Uh, look at the look at the belly he has in this in this chest. Uh, absolutely uh, staggering. Again, feathers uh, for days in these legs. They were always his his strength. But again, the midsection is absolutely uh, in check. This was him uh, two days ago, right? Granity granted. Granity granted. But I mean, hey, I mean, let me bring you back to that marvelous picture. Look at this. Compare this, bro. I mean the proportions i mean the very bellies i mean the the muscle maturity right compared to with pretty much this one i mean if you know a thing or two i mean the limbs are not uh, as they were to be and he's not the only one a lot of bodybuilders actually with age had the same outcome in a sense to say the, uh, the the politically correct way but again the waist if you don't see that it became prominent uh bro you need to correct your view Right again, uh, back in the day. Wow, this was a granite he look. It was like a smaller version of Nasser El Sambari with a better waist, with better bellies. For days, he was absolutely massive. He was hard. Everything was coming at you. He was 3D. And again, the legs back then, the very wheels that were absolutely better than the wheels he has right now. Right, the sweep of them. I mean, the way they were around us. It was just outstanding, right? Again, a picture from uh, three days ago. This is the uh, back uh, last spread. Absolutely, I cannot bestow any level of salute. Not even once, not even twice. That's what's up. Legs, they still look okay. But upstairs, absolutely no salute from my side can be bestowed on this picture. That's what's up. Uh, wow. Wow. You see? You see the difference? You see the contrast? I don't hate Branch Warren. I guarantee you that he is probably the, the, the most hardworking bodybuilder on the planet right now, right? Granted, he had a slew of injuries. If I recount the triceps was, was teared, uh, I think the lat, because it looks suspect, and the quad, for sure, it has been injured. And you guys remember in, the, uh, in that uh, pumping iron uh, video, 2013, I think, he fell from the horse and I think he injured his lower back or his hamstring, correct me if I'm wrong. But when he fell from the horse, he injured himself. He had several injuries. I mean, his training is hardcore, but there is consequences to that. Admire this picture. Now, admire this picture and you must absolutely salute, right? Proceed, shall we, with pictures dated a few days ago. Front last spread. If you have a proper eyesight, you will see that there is absolutely no symmetry between the left and the right lat. Does that count? It should count. It is bodybuilding. Symmetry absolutely counts, right? I don't even ding him for the legs because there is also uh, a lack of symmetry between uh, both legs. However, I know, and you know that he injured his right leg. Although, judges should absolutely ding him for that because it is bodybuilding. I don't care if you were injured. It is bodybuilding. But you need to acknowledge that the right lat is absolutely melted. Is it me or is it the picture? No, every picture is like this since Mr. Olympia. That's what's up. Proceed, uh, shall we? Again, an old picture, absolutely marvelous. This was him uh, a few days ago. Again, you will see the very imbalance in the uh, back uh, department. Uh, beside the fact that this back is not beautiful, to say the least, it's not Flex Wheeler, for God's sake. It's not Phil Heath. It's not Cedric McMillan. You don't see the very details where it attached, how the sway is there. But aside from that, you will see a clear imbalance between the two lats, right? I mean, the left one is absolutely more prominent than the right one, just like we saw in the front uh, last spread. Uh, back in the day, he used to do these kind of poses, which he cannot do right now. I think he became too massive and not as flexible to perform this. And the bellies are not as good as they used to be. You need to be pretty much ecstatic to, to dare doing this. He used to do it, and again, he was grainy. He was granity for days. So for, for all you guys tell me, bro, no, he's grainy, this and that. That's why he should place higher. 
I'm sorry, he was always greeny. This was his mark of commerce, as we say in French. It was basically his, uh, uh, it is his uh, credential in a sense, proceed, shall we? A picture uh, from a few days ago. That's what's up. I mean, be, be my guest. I mean, the waist is absolutely prominent, absolutely huge, right? Uh, back in the day, he used to do this kind of poses, which are aesthetic, reminiscent of almost uh, Francis Benfato, for God's sake, right? I mean, uh, you need to be quite aesthetic to do this. Right now, be my guess, he cannot do it, right? That's what's up uh, two days ago. There we go. So this is him. And this is the most muscular pose of back in the day. Wow, this is just marvelous. Admi admire everything, for God's sake. Admire freaking everything. Look at the quads. One of you, that would tell me, bro, his legs are, are better now. Really? Really? No. Back in the day, they were absolutely more mature. The very sweep of them. I mean, the outer head, the teardrop, every freaking detail was better than uh, they are right now. Look, look absolutely night and day even though he injured his uh, right leg as i mentioned times and again it is no excuse back in the day the very sweep he lost it right now the sweep of the quad is just gone back then it was absolutely outstanding bro it was outstanding the top was granity the midsection was in shape this was the version i salute this is the version i salute the most i'm sorry guys i gotta be objective I gotta be objective. Bodybuilding is not about how hard you train uh, in the gym. That is to be saluted, but that's what, that's that? Okay, so you train the hardest. I need to place you uh, higher by overlooking how you were back in the day. No, I'm sorry. He was better, miles, miles better than he is right now. Again, another picture from uh, two days ago. Again, be my guest. You know what? You know what? So I did not download the picture uh, of that. But he absolutely remind me of uh, Palombo. You know what? Let me try to Google this real quick. I want to Google this real quick next to you, right now, live. Let's do it. Dave Palombo. Dave pa Palombo. There we go. Pictures. Dave, what is that most muscular pose famous of you? Okay, probably it's gonna be somewhere around here. Not this one. He has a most muscular pose, absolutely reminiscent of that. I'm gonna absolutely find it since I'm here. Palombo. I'm gonna type something else to find you. absolutely find it I promised my fan to find it where is it where is it bear with me guys because it's quite famous as a picture unless Google deleted it Google come on ah oh, not this one damn me you guys know it, right? There we go, I found it. Looks like this one a bit, isn't it? In my reckoning, it looks like this one. Anyway, proceed, uh, shall we, bro? So, where are we now? So that's it, this is a few days ago. I personally do not find this remotely to be saluted. Uh, back in the day, he used to do those kind of floor poses. Uh, be my guest right now. Uh, I don't think he does a single uh, one. It is a testament of flexibility and also uh, that he, he is capable of doing them. Back then, vascularity for days. This is the version I have to salute, Branch. Uh, this was a few days ago, right? Uh, the waist is just outstanding. It took it, it, its independence like it was a 4th of July, right? This was back in the... Can you imagine this? This is absolutely not photoshopped, I guarantee you. He had bellies and sweep in his triceps this is the real him back in the day he was young he had hair and everything and he was um, he had a marvelous front uh, double biceps he's uh, a baby please this was uh two days ago 
There we go. Uh, wow, wow. Look at the bellies in that chest. His chest was one of the best ever, one of the best in the business. He was absolutely full like that of Big Ramy right now, bro. And, the, you know, the chest was not there. His forearms were there. Uh, the bellies in, in the arms, every freaking thing. And this was, again, yesterday. So, wow. Even his back. Even his back back here, it was proportionate. And it was, it, was, it was good. I mean, can you ding this back? I don't ding this back. This back was absolutely marvelous. His glutes, everything was uh, basically there to be uh, saluted. That's what's up. Salute you wherever you are. So this is my opinion. Voice in my objective opinion on Branch One, a guy that I salute when it comes to his work ethic, his second to none, he is a hard worker. But in my reckoning, what is right is right. The older version is the one I do salute compared to the one right now since few years. I think he's not getting any better. That's what's up. Tell me what you guys think about it. Don't forget to like the video.